What up, guys? guys? TLMB is back with another review coming at you. TLMB with another review. It's just because we keep winning. You know? And that's what it is. We just keep winning just at keep, games. So we gotta, we gotta keep telling you about it. All right, so you guys saw our Zelda and a Halo review. Now we're up to our Luigi's Mansion Luigi's review. Luigi's Mansion review. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. Luigi's Mansion came out in 2001 for the GameCube. It launched with the GameCube. So, like, you know, like, when you oh, buy yes, a system, yes, yes. it comes with the title. Oh, which, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, which is pretty cool. A lot of people are like, oh, yeah, Super Mario Sunshine. But they forget it was actually Luigi's Mansion with the first Luigi's GameCube Mansion was the game first ever. one. And that was great. It was a great game. Yeah, it was cool. It's a unique perspective. You know, like, you're... You're starring as Luigi, you know, Mario's like yeah. lesser known younger brother. I mean, but everyone knows Luigi. Everyone knows but Luigi. He's <laughs> lesser known. I wish I was as less known as Luigi, okay? <laughs> so, um, so, so famous. Yeah, so the story in the game is pretty, uh, it's pretty simple, right? So, what is he? Luigi wins a, uh. Um, Luigi wins this, uh, this mansion. contest. He doesn't even yeah, remember. A contest he doesn't even enter. You remember entering, and he goes to this, he, go, he goes to this mansion. That says you are here. He looks at his <laughs> pamphlet that he won. He's like, you he, are here. He is actually right there. Yeah, yeah. and he goes, mansion. Good. Mansion is there. <laughs> so he walks up to this spooky ass mansion. Yeah. And uh, so the basic premise is you have to capture these ghosts. You're helping a a professor. Well, yeah, it's when he runs into the professor in the mansion, and he yes. knows that he's being attacked by ghosts. And it's not like Luigi can do anything. You can't fight yeah, a ghost. Okay? Exactly. You can't jump on them, classic Goomba style. So, actually, he flees, technically saving the professor, and he goes back. Now, this professor's name is Professor E. Gad, and he tells Luigi that the ghosts have been going, what do you call it? Like, they've been rampaging lately. A lot of like Yeah, a lot of activity has been going on there. And then Luigi's like, I really don't care. I'm looking for my brother. And he's like, oh, I do remember a dude who had the same uh, same fashion sense as you. you know? fashion sense. Yeah, he's that's like, exactly what he said. He's like, yo, you got that red and blue overall? Yeah, I, you, you green and blue? I like that red and blue guy. You get that red and blue guy. He was here. What do you mean that red and blue guy? He was here. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, he gives Luigi the uh, the Polter Gust. Polter Gust pun. 3,000 or 2,000? I believe it's the upgraded version, so it's 3,000. Oh, 3,000. 3,000. Yeah, yeah. Right, and he gives him the Polter Gust and a flash, and he goes, well... Go find him. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so now Luigi with his Game Boy Horror, his Poltergust, and Flashlight ventures in. Now gameplay, it kind of, um, think of like a parody on Resident Evil kind of horror style games. Like you have a third person perspective and basically you only explore the mansion and, you know, each floor gets unlocked as you, you know, uh, as you progress yeah. l l l l uh, later and later in the game. You know, you beat bosses, you get keys, sometimes you solve puzzles. Yeah. Now... There's two types of game. There's two real main uh, points on gameplay: ghost capturing and money collecting. Money collecting is pretty easy. Let's go over that. And that's Michael's favorite part. That's Michael's most important part of the whole game. I mean, it's the most important part and of real if you, life. If you watch our videos, you'll notice I get really frustrated. <laughs> and we didn't actually film this, but I get really frustrated because there was one level we had to do twice because Michael missed a blue ghost. Dude, blue ghost, man. Which apparently gives you big gems. And at the end big of the money, game, money. <laughs> at the end of the game, you use this money to uh, purchase a big mansion, which is unhaunted, obviously. Yeah. Um, so. Money it ranges from coins, dollar bills, and gold bars. You can also find gems, as Bill said, and there's also pearls that you're only found when you uh, when you're connecting with a yeah. ghost. We'll go over that later. But uh, most of the time, money is found in almost any area. Like say you were like dusting off a fan or you banged on a cabinet, it'll come out from there. You need this money for the end of the game because the end of the game goes by your rank of how much money you got. So if you got zero bucks, you're not gonna get a very good ending. Exactly. But we'll go over the ending a little later. But just know that money affects how the game ends for you as a reward. Definitely. Now, combat gameplay is a little bit, uh, it's a little odd, it's interesting. I'd say. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, it's a really cool concept. The thing is, you see ghosts, you have to stun them with your flashlight. By stunning them, they have an HP, you know, heart ball, you, you know. You see their heart. Yeah, and it has a meter of how long. So ghosts range from like 10 to 20 to 50, 100, 200, you know, it could be anything. And from there, you have to use Luigi's poltergust, suck them in, but at the same time, you have to use, make sure you're using the stick to blow in the opposite direction so, you know, it's uh, exactly. like a critical so, hit. To like counter, ba to counter the ghost moving forward, you have to move backwards as if there's on a rope. Yeah, because you're trying to pull him in. Now, the thing is, you know, ghosts can go in any directions and all that, so you have to always be moving. It's not like, oh, I'm just going to pull back every time. Exactly, and the only problem with it I have is the sticks in are inverted. Oh, my, yeah, your flashlight sticks. So, like, say there's a ghost above you, and if you hit up on the C stick, you go, nope. It's like you're pushing <laughs> out of the back of his head. Um, other than that, I'd say 
What do you call it? The best button anyway was the A button, the Mario calling for Mario button. Oh, the calling for Mario button! Honestly, like, I, I didn't even know why. I was like, I, I don't know why they called it an A button. They should just put Mario's head. Yeah, I do. I just press it and then I automatically won. Oh, I was like, just, Mario. If you press it three times, you automatically win. The yeah, game. that's right. In front of a mirror, and then you go, Mario, Mario, Mario. Mario, Mario, Mario. And then you just walk out. And you're like, oh, Mario, there you are. That's it, game's over. See you guys later. Press it <laughs> again. You deal with this shit. I'll come out. <laughs> no. Uh, besides that, in the gameplay, like we said, there's also boss fights. You can also group a lot of uh, ghosts together and all that. Uh, music, I'd have to say, is probably the best part of the game. I mean, oh the little sound God. bits of the game, like when you get a the ghost. Key? When you get a key, the best part is Lakitu is DJing behind you. Oh, yeah, yeah. You. <laughs> <laughs> and he's all happy with freaking Luigi with this little thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, like, the, the music, it fits the theme very well. And that's what I liked about it, like, you know, like, it would have those moments where it's, like, kind of an epic music, and then I have the other moments where it's, like, that quiet, yeah, creepy and, kind of and thing. and it's, like, weird. You play in the game, like, you're actually getting scared, but not scared, like, a horror movie scared. You're, like, like you're just, like, you can't be huh, too what's gonna happen next? Yeah, yeah. Um, one thing I did forget to mention my fault is, uh, your Game Boy Horror, it's just basically your maps and your information Exactly, panel. it's just, uh, it's, uh, it's not, And it's an awesome cell phone, but, you know, you can't buy it. <laughs> you can't buy that. Uh, the last False thing, last thing we have to say is uh, about the graphics. And well, I mean, look, the game, don't forget the game is 14, 13 years old. Oh, came out yeah. in 2001. 2001. But I'm gonna have to say so it's not that bad. You know, like you know, it's pretty dark. But I, I like the animation every time you open the door when you have Luigi's like. Oh yeah, it's like, like I would say that was probably like. That, that like blew my mind. When the I game did definitely it. has potential to be remastered for HD. Well, no, they made Luigi's Mansion two, but that's for the 3DS. I'm just saying, yeah, it, it, it's not bad. But at I all. think that if they redid it for the Wii U, mm -hmm. it would go f phenomenally. Like the sales would be out the roof. Yeah, it would be pretty cool. Like you know, you imagine getting this. a special edition Wii U with with freaking. Uh, it's just a vacuum with a disc. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm. um, all right. So overall, I'm gonna give Luigi's Mansion uh, around. Uh, seven and a half, you know, I think the game is good uh, You know like it does have potential like Bill says and the game is actually really quick Yeah, and the thing is with the game so quick that you realize like you really go through it So fast. It's like, okay. I did this. I did this boss. Okay. There's only about 50 floors, you know 50 rooms you Yeah, know, exactly. And exactly. All that. Um, and it's like the game's done like there's a little bit of like errors like Hey, we're looking for Mario. Here's Mario's shoe. Wait, Mario's wearing his shoe Ma right there. Bob, is shoe? <laughs> this is uh, a fake Mario shoe. Yeah, it, it, we sculpted it out of clay. Yeah, <laughs> so they know that somewhat Mario's here. But uh, it, it, lo it draws you in, but not so much that you want to continue playing. And the replay value is not the greatest. I'd say it's like moderate low. Like the thing is, the only way you want to replay the game is when you collect a lot of money, as we mentioned earlier. And by collecting a lot of money, you get a, uh, you get a mansion. And the mansion goes by uh, certain ranks, so you can get it goes all the way from G or H or something like that, all the way to A. Yeah. And you know. Or S. Yeah, I think S. S. It goes to S. So you know, the more money you get, the better mansion you get at the end of the game. And that really has no. You beat the game regardless of what mansion you yeah, get. Yeah. So you don't have to replay it. Yeah. There's no different story. You just get that thing. Like cool. I liked collecting all the booze in all 50 rooms. I did like you know getting the money and all that. The thing is though, I would I wouldn't replay the game after I beat it. So how would you score? I was it? I was just about to say um. I'll talk about replayability. Replayability right. on this game is... It's... If we're gonna put it in time period, you'd probably have to wait like two years to replay this game. Unless you like really love the Wii's Mansion. Yeah, yeah, but no, I'm saying, what would you give like overall Overall, score? I'll give it a, uh... What did you say, 7.5? Yeah, I gave it around that. Yeah, 7.5. I mean, it's good. I, w I was gonna actually go with 7. The thing is, though, like... Uh, I did like how some of the... Like that last boss fight was uh, pretty difficult. Oh, no, dude, it took us mad. And the fact that you can call for Mario. And the fact that you can call for Mario instantly gives it a 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost. And the fact that he sings his own theme song. Oh, whistles it all the time? Whistles his yeah, own yeah, theme yeah. song. Okay, okay. To me, that would bump it up to 7.5. <laughs> yeah, I'm you. sorry, but I'm like that. I'm very superficial when it comes to that. <laughs> all right, guys. But other than that, guys, um, if you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you disagree with us or agree with us, Please take a look down below and type in your comments and we'll definitely respond to you. Don't forget you can catch us on all of our links below. We have Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, you know, we we'll live stream all the time. You can also check out our other reviews and of course Luigi Mansion playthroughs. We hope to see you guys for our next review. And and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Like game like Mario yes. or like Duck Hunter or something no, like that. No, no. But it's more of original concept. Yeah, it was Miyamoto's one of his new IPs and he wanted to like take some sort of take into like an action RPG kind of like you know, his own take into it, and what, what we got was Legend of Zelda. Story, there is none, none. really. <laughs>
If you only, okay. if you only if you read the pamphlet on the inside of the uh, of the game, which I forgot to read it. We of course. Oh, it's uh, not, like what I want to say is that it's like it's not physical therapy, but is it closer to like the high intensity training that we used to go through in uh, football? Similar, um, but more more so where you'd be doing a lot more reps with exercises and you'd be doing many reps with. Okay, so that's why it actually doesn't bad reps. But uh, I mean, oh, it had the bad rap. Why though? 